Welcome to the STARS program, seniors taking active roles in society. And now, here's your host, Anita Finley. I hope that the people who are listening to this show went to the Boomer Expo we just had, because if you did, you'll know that the star of the show was our major exhibitor sponsor, which was Apple Insurance. And wow, Florida Blue, Apple Insurance of Florida Blue. So I have one of the owners, Rick Zoltak. That's true, right? I'm, I'm saying this. You are, uh, yes, okay. you're correct. Zoltak, okay. yes. <laughs> okay, Rick. Um, I just wanted to compliment you on what you accomplished there. You really made the show. The center part of the whole expo was your people. They were alert. They were friendly. I mean, it was just as a, as a person that presented the show, I can't thank you enough. Well, I appreciate the um, the opportunity to um, do that. We look forward to doing it again next year. You know, it's always a. It's actually, we were surprised last year by um, the excitement that people had at our booth. So when we did it this year, um, we were equally as pleased. So we will continue to do it as long as people keep on coming to see us. Well, I have to just say though that. I walk around and I see a lot of the exhibitors, you know, they're they're happy to be there, but sometimes they're on their phones, they're not paying attention, they're, you know, but when you go to your booth with all those people, and this time you had them filled, every booth had, I think, one or two people, I mean, every little table, it was, it was so nice to see, and everyone really responded. Um, I, were you giving away apples? <laughs> <laughs> We have. Um, I don't know what we, I don't know what they were giving away when I wasn't there, but typically um, we do have stress balls that are that look like apples. That's right. so technically, yes. <laughs> and well, yes. Well, it was. I just have to tell you that every single person that participated in your company needs to get an award because yes, and I don't you. say this casually. It's something that I try to instill in all the exhibitors. You know, go there and be friendly and be active. Uh, that doesn't always come true. No, you you get out of it what you put. Well, you know what it really is this year? It's because, again, I mean, it's fortunate yet unfortunate, but the uncertainty of, of, of especially for seniors in the Medicare market, especially the Medicare, Medicaid, which is increasingly um, rising people that fall below that line that are now able to get um, government assistance on top of Medicare, um, as that as that increases, people have more and more questions about the certainty or uncertainty of their health insurance. So that's really well, that that's really what people come to us for, because we're an agency, we're we're a brick and mortar agency, we're local. We actually since last year we opened up our main we opened up an office in Boca, which is now our flagship office. It's on military, in um, in East Boca, I mean Central Boca. It's about 7,000 square feet. Hmm. So, um, you know, we have a strong local presence now in the, in the middle of Boca Raton, and a lot of people are um, coming in to see us. Well, because you're very knowledgeable, too. See, you hit it on, you hit the, 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 you hit the nail on the head. Um, a lot of people are confused, especially now with all the changes, and they know that if they go to you, because you've been around for a long time, and, you know, and you're... Apple Insurance, Florida Blue, they know they're going to get the right scoop. And with one place, they're not sent to two other places. So how long have you had this company? I've been with Florida Blue for going on 18 years. <laughs> and Apple Insurance is um, going on 10 years now. I opened up Apple Insurance 10 years ago this August, I believe. So you should be very proud of yourself. It was a, I'm sure at the time you did it. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't having the same problems we're having today. It's a different world, insurance now. Completely different world. You know, one of the issues is technology, and in most cases, that's a good thing. And in most cases, with insurance, it's a good thing. But it's really counterproductive when it comes to clients and people understanding their plans and finding somebody to talk to about it. Because a lot of it's done online. A lot of people like the ease of going to the Internet and just signing up for something. And oftentimes they do it based upon price or based upon a specific doctor that they know is on a plan and they don't really 
fully understand what they're getting. And um, that's been an issue, and that's why, you know, that's why, for the most part, we try to stay local and try to, um, you know, our reputation is very hands-on. And, to, you know, m- most of our clients, if not all, you know, our retention rate happens to be very, very high because, you know, we're here basically to service the clients, not necessarily, you know, doing what's easy for us, but doing what's better for the client. Well, it pays off, too. You can see when you're in business this long and you have Florida Blue, they don't do this casually. You know, they don't just no. go with anybody. So No. <laughs> yeah, in, Brow- in Broward, Palm Beach, and I think we're the largest right now in South Florida. Well, and, and you could see it. So tell me, how do you train your reps to be so good? I mean, you have like a, a weekly training meeting? or you, How do you do that? We base, well, basic, well, rep-wise, we're over 100, so training everybody at the same time is almost impossible. But, um, you know, what's unique about Blue, Florida Blue, is that our agents are captive, meaning they only sell Florida Blue. So it's not an issue of having 10, 20 products at your disposal. It's knowing your products and, and under, understanding the rest of them, obviously, but um, because our agents are captive and, and they just represent the one product, it makes it much easier to be focused on the benefits and the plans. So when an agent starts with us, they typically have a, a general background of insurance if they had previous experience, or more often than not, if they're new to insurance, you know, we put them through a full training. In order to sell insurance, you have to go through a 60-hour class and pass a couple of state tests. Anyway. Oh, really? Yes. But then to, then, to, then to sell Blue Cross, you go into a couple-day training. And with Apple, it's probably about a two-week training. Well, good for you. That's, see, but it shows. That's exactly was my point. So let me just tell everybody I'm talking with Rick Zoltak, and he is, uh, let's see, and a number, how would I... How would people call your agency? I think I have some numbers here. 561-614-2400. Will that work? That'll work. That's our main line. Um, If they're in Palm Beach County, they can call that 561-614-2400. If they're in Broward County, they can reach us at um, 954-580-8100. And, and, w- and will online. you? Online. Oh, good. Oh, and Apple online. Insurance. Okay, let's do yeah, the Apple. Apple in- AppleInsurance.com. Okay. www.appleinsurance.com. Well, that's you. easy enough. And uh, I would love the apples. I mean, in your ads, I love apples. An apple a day. That's very important. Well, that's that's what we're based on right. health, right? <laughs> right? Everybody likes to eat, so we figured apples are healthy. They're yep. red, they're healthy. And um, I figure insurance, food, doctors, an apple you can't go wrong with, right? No, that's true. As a matter of fact, <laughs> doing some research on that, an apple contains uh, so many vitamins just in that one apple. So an apple a day was not a joke. It was very serious. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so now what I wanted to do is tell you something. You said that you didn't, I didn't realize you didn't make it. It was such a crowded area. I didn't realize that you weren't there. Did they tell you about our grand finale? Of the, yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I, I was there. I, I, oh. I was there. I wasn't there the whole time. Oh, I see. Were you there towards the end? No, I wasn't. What so happened? you missed the Boomer Boys. Yes. <laughs> but you Tell me about them. it. But did you hear about them? I did, but I, I have heard <laughs> 25 different things. Oh, really? Well, any of your female reps would have loved it. We want to, you know, it's funny. You go to the all these expos and, oh, about 3 o'clock or 3.30, you know, people want to get home. But we decided we'd have a grand finale. And, of course, you have some very good-looking sales reps, and they we probably could have gotten them to do this. But I went to a place in Fort Lauderdale called, I guess, La Bear. And yeah, oh, <laughs> yes, I did hear about this. You had those three guys. <laughs> You're right. right? <laughs> and people just loved it. We'll have them. I think we're going to get six next time. But it really we- made it really made yeah, no, me. No, no, I, I, I did hear that. You had, I, I heard about, the, I think, th- was it three of them? I believe yep, so. three of them. Yes. We didn't let them do what they do at the club. We told of them course. you have to keep their pants on. But they they did dance with some of the people, and they were gorgeous. And, we and put, they, had, they, had bow, they had bow ties? Yes. <laughs> they had bow ties and nothing else on the top. Yeah, I did, I did hear that. Right. Muscles and bow ties, right? There you go. Yeah, but, but the women, That's especially, very funny. we even had a hundred-year-old lady dancing with one of them. I mean, it was wild. 
that's that's amazing that she's she's out and about. That's incredible. Yeah. So we tried to you know we tried to make everything a little bit uh, more exciting than than typical. This time we're going to have the Florida Follies, the Ze- Zeekville Follies. They're going to be yep. there also. So we you know we li- we like to make everyone have a good happy time. But I want to get back to the insurance now. Tell sure. me all kinds. What kinds of insurance do you sell? Just health. Well, we. No, no. Yeah. Health, we're blue. Obviously, that's our, that's the that's really what gives us the um, the credibility because it's a selective product. But outside of health insurance, we also do we do life insurance, we do long term care, we do home, auto, boat. We do a lot. You know, it's we basically do everything, and we have specialists for each field. As much training as we give on the on the health side, we do as much for the financial planning the property and casualty, the boats, the cars. But you, you know what's becoming very popular? What? Um, pet insurance. I, was just, I, was, I knew you were going to say that. No, you, do you have pet insurance? Because we have it. Yes, oh. we do. And, and, and I'm going to tell you something because it's, it's the truth. But um, I've been, I told you I've been this close to 20 years now. Yes. And having an insurance agency, and prior to owning this one, I managed another one, I've probably been solicited by at least 100 companies claiming that they have pet insurance and they want us, us to sell their products for them. Mm. This is the only, the product that we actually sell is the only product I've ever thought was good, and that's why we're selling it. We sell one product. It's a great product. And it's almost like an AFWAC where you don't have to worry if your vet's on it or not. Right. Because what what happens is um, you go to the vet. If they are on it, they give you a they get they give you a contracted rate. If they're not on it, it doesn't matter. You just take your receipt when you get home. You, you scan it. You mail it. You can take a picture with your phone and email it to the company, and they will they reimburse you. And they kind of give you a fixed amount. So if you if your dog needs to have like a surgery, God forbid, you know how much you're getting for that surgery going in. It's not one of these insurances that you have to call thirty different vets to take it, or or you have to drive five miles, or a vet might not see you because you're on a copay. It literally it's it's what a pet insurance should be. It's an accident, and and I, it's it's for accidents. It's for it's 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 for hospitalization. It's for surgical. It's it's not what you would think of a regular insurance as far as wellness goes. And the reason and it's inexpensive. It's it's for two dogs. It could be twenty bucks a month. For one dog, it could be as low as eight dollars a month. It could be as high as fourteen, depending on the age of the dog. But it's and the process is easy. They go on. They 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 go online. They fill out a form online. They see a little video that actually explains everything to them, and then they could look at all the and they could look at all the at benefits. So they know what they're getting up front. But it really, really is an excellent product, and it's the only one I've ever sold and will ever probably sell because the rest of them are are, are really garbage. And what's the name of it? Can you say that? Yeah, I can say it, but I actually actually you know what. If they want to find out about it, have them call me okay. or have them email us, and we'll do it that way. Okay. Because when because I, 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 I that will be a good test. But again, www.appleinsurance.com, and we will more than just say you're interested in you heard us on the radio with Anita, or you're interested in in getting a link for pet insurance, and we'll send you the link, and it's 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 fantastic. Okay. But. That that will be a good way to um, to gauge everything, because in order for um, <clears throat> I it'll it'll be a good way for us to measure. Put it that way. Well, and also you should go through an agency rather than go direct to insurance companies because they'll tell you exactly what you get. Where an insurance company won't do the same. So I agree with you. I think that's a well, good way to do this. You know, look at it this way: we're not commission reps. In terms, <clears throat> it doesn't matter. <clears throat> We get credit for enrolling. We don't necessarily, it, it, we don't necessarily need to um, put products to make them expensive, and it, there's no difference in price whether they do it through an agency to us, or if they go direct. There is no, there is no benefit financially. The only benefit of, of using an agent, even with health and actually with everything, 
is that if there's ever an issue down the road, they can call us and we could help them. And if they buy something online, the problem is even if we wanted to help them, and most of my guys would still help you anyway, the problem is if we're not the, the agent of record on your policy, we're unable to help. And the reason why we're unable to help is because with HIPAA, it's the pri- it's privacy laws. So if and if if Rick Joltak is Anita Finley's insurance agent and she's having a problem with a bill or she's trying to get in to see a specific doctor and they're saying they're not accepting patients or there's a claim she doesn't understand, she can call me and 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 I will will probably know the answer, but we could get the answers. Right. If Anita is just a friend of mine and has a, spe- a different product, I can call up. But they're not going to talk to me because I'm 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 not I'm not anywhere on that policy. In which case, they they wouldn't be permitted to. I understand. That's that. I do think that's very wise. Let me ask you a question, though. So you're you're covering care car insurance also. Yes. And um, do you who do you work with different car insurance companies based on what the problem is? Yep. Because we're a Blue Cross agency by contract. And actually, I wouldn't do this anyway, but this actually, <laughs> this makes it more important. Um, we only deal with A-plus rated companies. We we wouldn't deal with a subpar company. Like, we deal, we do progressive. We do what we do. Um, we do, we do basically every one. There's a, there's a, um, I say progressive because I'm looking at it right now. But we quote, we, we basically quote, quote every product that's out there. Okay, that's really interesting. I know that there are plenty of people. Let me ask you this then. As people age, do do automobile insurance companies, uh, even if they haven't had an accident, uh, take away their insurance? Someone asked me that the other day. They won't take away take away your insurance. Once you have it, they won't they won't they will not cancel you. The only way an insurance company is gonna cancel you is A not paying premiums. Or B, if they if you go over a, a, a specific dollar amount of claims, which is high, or have a number of either tickets or, or violations or infractions. So typically, or don't have a valid driver's license. But does the so age, no, uh, does it play into that if those things have no. occurred? If those occurred, it doesn't matter if you're 25 or 100. You, you still, you know, you still, you still will have your insurance. But... Okay, so it won't it, it won't cancel. You know, you won't be canceled just because you're getting older. No. Okay, but if you've had some of those problems and you're older, will that, that it, go it, into it? No, it would be no. It would be the same. What I'm saying is, it, not some problems, a lot of problems. Uh, I see. There's typically a uh, there's typically maximum amounts that uh, any company will insure anybody with. What I'm saying is, a 20 year old will have the same amount of problems as a 70 year old. I see. If if they have the same driving record. I see. Okay. I, I, yeah, yeah, it does. It does make sense. Thank you very much. So, sure. Okay, Rick. Well, you know, insurance has always been very confusing to me. When I got, I mean, I have life insurance and I get those things and they send me all sorts of information. I just toss it. I don't even try to read it. It's too confusing. Right. It is confusing. And especially, especially if it's a whole or universal life where you get returns back. Most people will just keep the statement, wait till tax time, and give it to their accountant to di- right. dissect. Right. But um, you know, with us, we'll meet with anybody anytime. If you have a question, give us a call. And a lot of insurances, they'll send you statements and not bills, so they get nervous to open up all these statements because they think they're going to owe money. Right. When really, when really, all it is is explanation of benefits. Well, um, so, I I just did get a. Um, a- a bill to pay on my life insurance. I guess it's not covering it. It is one. I guess it's a whole life, and it's not covering it. Yeah, so I have to pay some money. Well, if it's not covering, it means the money that was put in. Yeah. The ca- it, it it it's not it was covering. Paid down. Yeah. Right. If you want me to look at it, I could help you. <laughs> I, would, <laughs> and I would definitely need it for you. I'll do anything. You're so very if you want me sweet. to help you, I'll absolutely yeah, and, help and, you. You know, this is interesting because it was years ago. Equitable. Remember Equitable. Uh-huh. I still have a, a life insurance policy with Equitable, which I know is now AXA. AXA, yep. Right. I was going to say it. Yep, it got bought right. out by and AXA. So, and so I don't pay a lot on it every month, but That's I wonderful. know. wonderful. Yeah, however, now I just got a bill, 
to pay that I have to do that to continue it. Uh, and so I really can't get rid of it, you know, because. No, I've you don't want for, to get rid of no, it. You want, it but you want, to, you want to, yeah, oh, wait, you had a term or a whole life? Whole life? I'll it's talk to you later term. about that. It's You'll not term, me. right? Okay. Yeah, we, okay. we'll talk. We can talk yeah. about it. No, it isn't term. It's it's all life, actually. Okay, yeah, but okay. Well, I'll I'll talk to you about yeah. that off air, but make sure that make sure that the premium's correct. Yeah. Well, you know, it's funny, and I just go back to what we said. So Rick Joltak is uh, is there to help you. I think that's the most important thing about Apple Insurance. You're not going yeah. to, you know, you're not going to get fooled. It isn't an insurance company that's here one day and then you can't find them anymore. They're gone. Correct. Uh, you've been here a long time. And, of course, you're with Apple Insurance's Florida Blue. But the nice thing is we found out that you can get all sorts of insurance, whether it's pet or car or boat insurance or long-term health care or, you know, anything else that you need. So you must have a very large staff to be able to handle all that. <laughs> We just bought a building in Boca to handle everybody, so, you know, we're not going anywhere. Where did, where did you buy a building? It's 3010 North Military Trail. Really? It's, oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's right, be, it's, um, right by, it's between Butts Road and um. I know Yamato. where it is. I know. Well, congratulations. That's very exciting news. Thank you very much. Are you going to start having seminars there? We do. We will, yep. We absolutely will this season. Open enrollment starts. Let us October. know when you do because we will put it in our event with no charge. We will put it in our event column for people who want to go to see things like this. You got it. Yeah, that, that's really uh, very exciting. Well, tell me something. Let's go back to the expo a minute. Um, sure. Tell me, what, did anything happen there that was really exciting or fun or that you were able to accomplish? You know, um, of all the things, and you were there a long time with everybody, so what what do they do? Tell me, there might be something happened. Someone was pregnant and had their baby there. I don't know, something. You know, something. <laughs> there was a lot of people. No one had the baby there, oh. <laughs> but there was there was a lot of people. Wrong, wrong, wrong demographic. Okay, sorry. No, one of your, <laughs> one a, of your reps. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> We were we were surprised with the amount of people that were there that actually came back from last year, and actually, you want to hear something funny? Yes. I I, I not one, but I'd say about two or three, maybe four people that I saw. You know, we did the bags this year also. Yeah. They brought back the bags from last year. <laughs> which I found funny. Now but that is saved, funny. They saved the bags, and I, oh. I was watching them. I'm like, wait a second, that was last year's bag. So they must they must have they must have um. Con, um, seminar bags or, or, or right. you know um, convention bags and exactly. I guess one of our bags is their convention bag which is very funny to me no it is well you know it's funny you don't realize how important those bags are they take them to the grocery store they take them to a lot of places and so I'm glad that yeah I know you gave us a lot of bags to give out which was really special so yeah, yeah but that was funny I didn't yeah, expect that to is, see that especially that more than once right and uh, did you get people to sign up at all well, it's there were a lot of appointments were made. We typically won't sign somebody up there, uh, right? Be, just because, well, just because you know we want to make sure that they know what they're. You know, we want to make sure they know everything. Yeah. So we'll typically set appointments, and um, a couple of people you know have signed up since then. Yes, but um, for the most part, it's going to happen more during open enrollment, which is um, coming up in October. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. So. So does that work well now, Having because for years they didn't do that. You could sign up any time. This open enrollment within a really just, you know, a little window, isn't that hard on your sales reps? 24-7, seven yeah. days a week, yeah. about 60 days. It's very difficult. Very hard. But that's okay. And we so and, and is, that, is that a very good practice? Is that because it keeps everything pretty contained and you don't have it all year where people – get in and then they get out and you know they they don't stick with it the the problem is and there's really not enough time to tell you the whole problem but to to, to put it in a nutshell when they went to an when they went to an open door policy in which case anybody could get insurance you know for any reason with any conditions at any time they realized if it's a if it's a guarantee approval then people don't need insurance until they need it. Ah. 
Like you could be seven months pregnant, sign up for the insurance, have the baby, and cancel it. There's no reason not to because anytime you have to go to a doctor, you should be able to sign up. So they needed to curtail people jumping in and out only by needing it. So mm-hmm. they decided to put an open enrollment. But the other part, but then what happened is they never, they never accounted for the millions, and I say millions, tens of millions of people that during the year have situations that come up that require them to need insurance more than just the 45 or 60 days that they give us. So then they opened up what's called the special enrollment period, an SCP. So there's, 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 there's dozens of ways that people could get insurance throughout the year anyway. So it's not perfect. Ideally, if somebody wants to do during open enrollment and they want to apply for some money back from the exchange, the government, you know, open enrollment's the best time to do it. But, you know, we're, we're busy throughout the year. Um, it, divorce is a reason why they could get insurance after childbirth. Huh. Um, they lose their job. The company cancels group insurance. They move to a different state. I mean, there's, there's a, there's a, their income fluctuates by more than 18%. There's, there's a lot of reasons why people could still get it throughout the year. But what they tried to do was give it to everybody but have everybody t- do it at a certain time so everybody's into it for the same amount. But it doesn't necessarily work great because the healthy people still don't think they need it. I so see. So you have a whole bunch of sick people that are on yeah. it, and that's going to take the cost and drive it up because if everybody's paying the same rates, <laughs> the utilization, it, it's it's crazy. But we can nav- we're good at navigating it. That that's That's actually... This that's probably the biggest reason why you need an agent right. is open enrollment because it's, it's it's very overwhelming to a person that never no, doesn't study it all year round. Well, Rick, Joltak, I have to just thank you. You're always great. We don't prepare for this show before he just no, jumps on. And I want to give you phone numbers a call. It's five six one six one four twenty four hundred, and in Broward it's nine five four five eight zero eighty one hundred, or it's appleinsurance dot com. Right. You got it. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you again. Take it easy, and I'll let you know how many people want to know that. Oh, that about the pet insurance. Pet insurance. <laughs> okay. I'll give you a number next time. Okay, thank Take you. It easy.